Good morning everyone, just wanted to give you all a quick update to what's been going on. I've been super super busy if you guys noticed. I've actually wanted to post a little bit more on this channel but it's just it's hard to keep up with all the things going on at the moment with a baby and trying to move so I just wanted to kind of just share what's been going on. One issue we had recently, Micah wasn't feeling so well the other evening and Basically, we had to go to the hospital the next day. Um, she was having some like stomach problems. Uh, I think it was like an upper stomach cramp. It ended up being okay, but we were worried enough that she had to go to the hospital. I recorded it the evening before. This is it. My stomach hurts. Yeah? All day today, and it's getting worse. What did the doctor say? He said that he doesn't know until he says it, but... If I can sleep, I can sleep. I should sleep. And this is us going to the actual hospital the next morning. It's pretty cool. But at the end of the day, Michael was okay. Did you get any medicine or anything? She didn't get, yeah, she didn't get any medicine. But it was nice that the clinic just like we called them that night, that evening, and they allowed us to like come in at nine o'clock in the morning the next day so I was kind of worried a little bit that we wouldn't be able to actually go and see the doctor right away or that we like couldn't even call but that's pretty like you know that's like the first issue we had and it was nice that we were able to go see the doctor and even call them in the evening it was like 10 o'clock at night and in other news the saga of us still trying to find a house or an apartment here in Tokyo is just been crazy. We've been looking for the last six months and it's just been difficult. Maiko is six months pregnant now. Se my seventh month just started. Oh, she, her seventh month just started. It's due in May and we still don't have a place. Like we originally wanted to buy a house, couldn't really find one so we decided to get maybe a cheaper house here in Tokyo that we would plan to renovate. Still couldn't find it so we started looking for apartments. We actually found one in the Oimachi area but decided not to go with it because it was kind of too far and then um, we did find one in Shimokitazawa it was actually pretty pretty nice um, the only problem was on the third floor and that place didn't have any elevator so we would have had to like go upstairs every time and with a baby and strollers and all that it's just been too complicated so what you'll find with like just searching for property in in Tokyo at the moment is that if there's a good property it'll be there for a few days and if it's really good like it'll just be gone um, the properties that aren't so good will like obviously continue to stay on the market but it's been tough um, and there's just a lot of them are not meeting our requirement um, we're trying to get at least 70 square meters which is kind of a, a big ask I guess if you're looking to get like a property or house Roughly for 60 square meters, it's gonna cost 55 million yen for 60 square meters. Um, so that's what we're kind of working with. I don't know, You can we can get a loan, which we are approved for, but because we are freelancers here in Japan, it's a little bit more difficult and we don't have, we can't get like a big, we can't get like a huge loan, so. Yeah, it's been a little bit challenging. We're looking at some more properties today and like I think we're going like kind of like the bottom of the barrel and just getting something that's really really shabby and then see if we can just fix it up and maybe walk you through that and again time is of the essence right now um, I don't know we want to move out before Maiko is pregnant which means we probably have to make a decision in the next like couple weeks yeah or we should have or we should have already made a decision so we'll probably go and I don't know I, maybe we'll just like move into a place temporarily but moving in Tokyo a lot of the places these days you'll have to pay um, maybe up to like six months worth of rent to actually move in so you have to deposit one or two months you get the key money which is like money you just give to the landlord for saying thank you for letting you move in so you're already down due to four months there you have real estate agents fees which is like a month and then you have maybe a guarantor fee which is another month so you're looking at five months plus then just like the first month of rent so yeah like six months maybe four if you're lucky maybe three months 
but it's kind of a, a big move. Um, so we don't really want to move, but this place just is way too small. It's 35 square meters. So I don't know, fingers crossed today. Hopefully this place is good. I know, like I've already seen some of like the pictures and it's really, really shabby, but maybe, maybe. Um, location is, we're looking at two places. One is in Shimoki Dezawa, which is just a little bit like kind of southwest of Shibuya. And then we're looking at Nakamegoro, uh, which is pretty close to Shibuya as well. I'm trying to like stay around this area. We definitely want to stay in Shibuya because the government support for having a baby is really good as well as kind of like child daycare and services is pretty good here in Shibuya. But if you go to a place like Shimokitazawa, it's pretty horrendous from what I hear. Um, anyways, like if any you have any questions about any of this, leave it in the comment section. Let me know and then I'll probably talk about it in the next video to give you guys an update. How are you feeling about all this? I'm so stressed. Are you? I can't find a place to live. It's the worst. You're on your phone again, huh? I was waiting for you to get down so we can leave. Okay, should we go? Anything else you want to tell people right now? I'm like this. I can't move really your stomach. Oh. So I'm seven months pregnant. Thinking of like, I'm gonna be like from like eighth month, month eight after month eight, I'll be in the third trimester. Is that how you guys call it in English? Third trimester. Third yeah. trimester. Yeah. So I'm gonna be third trimester in a month, and we are still, and we are still in here. Small apartment. So true. Okay. You good? Yeah. Let's go. So we're on our way. Maybe just a little bit late, but um, something you probably already noticed, the channel is a little bit more random and <laughs> really less edited. So it's kind of nice to be able to talk to you. I feel a little bit more comfortable, maybe because it's just like less people watching. It's a little bit more intimate. Can kind of share what I'm feeling, what Maiko is feeling. How are you feeling? Oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> really, my stomach hurts and I'm doing my best to walk. Oh. All right, let me go help Micah. So, just arrived in Shimoki Tazawa. This is the station, let me show you. So, just had some luck. Another real estate agent called Maiko just now. One of the properties we wanted to see a while ago got booked up and someone applied, but I think they canceled midway through the application process. So now it's open. They called us just now and they said that we can see the property later this afternoon. So it looks like we'll be seeing three different properties today. So this is the first apartment we're looking to potentially buy. Unfortunately, I'm not able to film inside as most of the owners in Japan are strict about filming, but I can show you what the property looks like on the outside and the pictures available on the internet. So this six story building was built in 1970 and the space itself is 62.4 square meters on the fourth floor selling at 38 million yen, which is about 346,000 US dollars. And it's about eight minutes from Shimoki Tazawa station. So it's quite a bit smaller than what we were looking for, but we wanted to check it out for possible renovation. As you can see in the pictures, it would require a full renovation which we expected but the problem is it's just too small at least for me also the kitchen and bath plumbing may limit where we could relocate these facilities and the narrowness of the space wouldn't allow us to build an island kitchen that we really want in fact one of the reasons why we wanted to buy a cheaper place is to renovate and not only for our baby but we also want to design a small studio for filming so I think this place is just too small for that but the view is decent and it's also south facing so we're finished with that property and now we're in Nakamegoro. Nakamegoro is actually one of our desired locations. Lots of decent shops and restaurants, fairly clean and good train access. This 11 story building was built in 1968 and the space is 72 square meters on the top floor selling at 49.8 million yen, which is about $453,000. This apartment would also require a full renovation, ripping everything out from floor to ceiling, but it's pretty obvious that there's just so much more space here, meaning more potential for renovation. Also, it has a super nice south facing in view without any huge building obstruction. But I don't know, this is what you get for $450,000, 70 square meters in a nicer neighborhood in Tokyo near the station. Hmm, for now, let's head to the next spot.
<laughs> so we're in Nakamegoro right now. Just had some lunch and heading to the third property today. The first property was a bit small. It was like super, super shabby as I thought it was gonna be. Like it just looked like, really, really dirty. Um, but I don't know. Like I think it's actually a decent price. Um, the building itself is, is fairly old but I think um, it's just gonna be a little bit too difficult to do anything the way it's like shaped. So if we renovated it like the way we wanted to have like an island kitchen, maybe a little bit too difficult. What do you think? Um, I think there's a way to work around, but I think since we saw like a dirty, <laughs> like breaking down, tearing off kind of room, we just can't, like it, it's hard to imagine, yeah. but there's a, there's a way to work around. Maybe, yeah. And then we just saw the second property in Nakamegoro. It's actually pretty nice, like it's a lot more spacious. The first one was about 62 square meters, whereas this one is 72 square meters. And um, it was nice, like there was room. The only issue is that the bathroom and the, um, what's it called? The bathroom and the shower room or the, the bathtub room, like it was surrounded by concrete we think so it might be difficult to move those to a different location of the apartment so I don't know I know what are your thoughts so far mm, well the price is like it's a month different oh yeah so, so <laughs> that's kind of big for us especially thinking of um, renovation yeah, so the so, so the like, first place like ten extra meters square meter ten extra square meters is a hundred thousand dollars more. But the location's so much better. Like mm. it's five it's just only five minutes from Nakameguro station and I like Nakameguro actually over Sumakita to be honest. Yeah. It's more how to say nicer. <laughs> mm. It's just having that it's a man is yeah, we would use. Water renovation is really big. <laughs> yeah, that's the money we would probably try to use to renovate the place. I mean, like we're not gonna pay off obviously all of this up front. We're gonna have to get a loan yeah. for all this. So, of course. yeah, I just I don't want people getting the idea that we're just buying it straight up. We'll have to pay for this place for the next like 35 years. For yep. in fact, getting one of these places may be cheaper than will probably be cheaper than actually paying for rent for the same size. A lot cheaper. So that's that's one of the reasons why we're considering buying a house or buying an apartment is so that we can reduce our costs, which is doesn't make sense when you look at the overall price. But yeah. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. But we're kind of running out of time, so we might actually just try to rent an apartment if we don't find what we're looking for and then just continue to look for a house that we can renovate or apartment that we can renovate. Um, so that's where we're going now to see if maybe we can go to this place and rent it out and then continue our search to, for a home. So I'm going to end it here. This video went longer than I thought. Hit that subscribe button and the bell button and find out if this apartment you see here is going to be our new home. Catch you in the next one.